What is up you guys? My name is Shaylin and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're doing another episode of How to Hemiplegia. This time, as you can see, I'm going to be showing you guys my little one-handed tips and tricks for when I'm doing my makeup, as well as showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. Hopefully that does not stop recording because I can't see anything. <laughs> Usually I use two different color concealers, one for my face and one to brighten like under my eyes and like the high points of my face. So when I'm using any type of like tube container for makeup, I usually use my mouth. So and then I like to grip it with my pinky as well. It's not gonna look the best today because I haven't done my eyebrows in a really long time. Oh, I'm gonna use a damp beauty sponge to blend all that out really well. Um, but basically, when I'm putting on like a color concealer that's more close to my skin tone, I'm just covering up my impurities, acne, scarring, whatnot, things like that. So. But I am very strict about my blending. I don't believe that there's a such thing as over blending. Sometimes when you over blend, the product can completely just come off your face. But I feel like the products that I use are pretty trusty and holy grail products. So they don't really tend to over blend. Now I'm going to move on to a concealer that I've been using since I first started doing makeup, which is the oh that was a maybelline fit me concealer by the way this is the maybelline instant age rewind concealer and i'm using the shade neutralizer this is the exact shade that i used to use back in the day too i've just never stopped using it so for this product it has like a twisting mechanism to get the product out onto the sponge on the top so i basically just hold it with my three fingers just like i would open a bottle cap if you saw my how to hemiplegia bunch of stuff video <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a little bit of brightening. I'm not gonna go too crazy because technically this is my everyday makeup and I don't honestly wear makeup every day anyway. I usually wear no makeup, but if I do do a light makeup, this is what I do. Just on the high points. And I have this little like mini version of this beauty blender that I'm going to use. So I can really focus on these specific areas. savings ruined my filming schedule because normally I film when my husband goes to work and now it is dark outside when he goes to work and I don't have very good lighting unless I use natural light so what are you gonna do make sure everything's nice and blended so now that I have all my liquid products I'm gonna move on to setting those products. So I like to use a powder foundation. My favorite one is by Makeup Forever. It's the Matte Velvet Skin. I use the shade Y315, if you're wondering. Um, it comes with a really great like sponge applicator in the product. 
This is great if you want like full coverage. I recommend like padding with the sponge if you want full coverage, but um, I didn't really show how I opened this. Basically it has like a little button right there. You just push it and I kind of push down on the bottom part. And then it's open. So I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush to lightly apply this. So I don't have too full coverage, but I have some coverage and it sets my concealer. Always blend the neck, ladies or gentlemen. That's basically just like my whole face. And then to set like where I put the lighter concealer, I'm gonna use this MAC Studio Fix um, face powder in the shade NW20. This is a very light shade. And I just opened it the same way. Little button and push. So, this one I'm going to use a more tapered brush. A good tip that I have for smoothing out your pores and things like that and like really mattifying any oily spots that you get on your face, I use a little powder puff. This one's just from Shop Miss A. It was literally like 50 cents or something like that. I use the powder of my choice. Um, really get a good amount on there. And then you use the powder puff and you basically just press. And the areas that you have like enlarged pores and oiliness. And I recommend doing this before you do any like bronzing or blush or anything like that so that you don't mess up any of those products. My favorite bronzer and contour shade is Hoola by Benefit. I've used this for many, many years at this point. It's just one of those staple products that I'll always use. And I just kind of fling it open like that. Use like a more dense angled brush for this to create some definition. If you've noticed, I typically hold my brushes that I'm using by like the very end of the makeup brush. It just helps you have more control of where you're placing the product and things like that the best way to hold your makeup brushes. I just like to go over that with my beauty blender, make sure everything's really blended once again. I also like to use the same shade to contour my nose. So I just use like, an, this is actually an eyeshadow brush, but you can use any like dome shaped blending brush. That would be great for nose contour. Really precise. looks really scary at first I promise it'll get sorted up so I basically use the lighter shade powder that I used before and I like these beauty sponges because they have like an angle on the other side of them so it's perfect for creating like a really straight line for the nose contour <laughs>
This is my favorite highlighting brush. Um, it's from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Unfortunately, she doesn't sell them anymore, but um, this brush is great. And this is the Dose of Colors and Desi X Katie highlighter in the shade Fuego. take a eyebrow pencil that I have to comb up my eyebrows. Now, on the daily, I don't fill in my eyebrows, um, but if I was doing a more intense makeup look, then I would use my Foolproof Brow Powder by Benefit to fill in my brows and then go in with my brow gel, but on day-to-day -day looks, I just use the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade 4.5. My eyebrows are pretty thick on their own anyway. And yeah, I just do this to kind of keep them in place. What this product is it does kind of give you more fullness and a little bit of color while holding your brows down so that's why I really like it for like daily brow products. I am going to do a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids just to give it some definition. Same brush that I used for my nose contour. I like to focus really on the like outer V of my eye, kind of pull my eye out this way a bit. I like to use like a flat, smaller, like dense brush and my highlighter shade to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and the center of my lid a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit on my lower lash line with this dense flat really short brush. It's just really nice for smoking out the lower lash line. Now that all the face products are done, can use my setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Been obsessed with it, will forever be obsessed with it. It's the only thing that really keeps my makeup on the longest, so. I like to shake it and do a test spray so that I don't get camel spat on. Okay, now, oh, I forgot one thing. Even though I don't use the brow powder for my brows, I do, however, use the same brush that I use for my brows and the brow powder for like a little minimal wing. There's a lighter shade and a darker shade in there. And I use the darker one and the angled brush to kind of just create a very small wing because I don't like wearing black liquid liner on the daily. So that's what I like to do. And it looks really great when you do have this shade in your eyebrows because then it just kind of goes together. I'm gonna use like a dome shaped big fluffy brush with no product on it just to blend the top part of the wing a little bit. Okay. Next, 
lashes. I like to curl my lashes, just any ordinary eyelash curler first before I do any mascara. hard to see from that far away or maybe you can see but the difference that curling your eyelashes makes and for mascara obviously you can see the end is bitten to crap that's because this is how I open it <laughs> same thing that I do with any tube product Jaclyn Cosmetics in the shade Praline. I basically just line my lips and overline a little bit on the top lip. or any type of lipstick but most of the time I just use this Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is in the flavor berry doesn't smell or taste like berries to me literally smells like strawberry banana like strawberry banana smoothies so good I usually just take it <laughs> I didn't mean to flip you up I usually just take it on the back of my fingernail and Just kind of give some life to the lip color that I put on my lips and make it really shiny. But I guess that's my entire makeup routine. Hopefully you guys saw a good amount of tricks that I have within this video. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! God, my hair is getting so long. Jesus. Oh my God. Right there. <laughs> long hair.